Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Folk Sea Channel, as usual. Always really appreciate everybody tuning in, and uh, thank you so much to everybody who's purchased guitars. As you can tell, this is a passion to me. I find really good stuff. I find the guitars with the mojo, and it's it's not BS. This is, oh, I just got this guitar. It's unbelievable. This is an Epiphone Lucille BB King, and obviously, you know, BB King, um, you know, one of the leading blues players in the world would not put his name on something if he didn't love it. And let me tell you, this is a really well-made guitar. I mean, it has all the great, if you'd like a guitar that has an unbelievable jazz sound, but can also have a really great sound for, you know, blues, rock, fusion, you know, overdrive sound with six different variations, as well as can be used stereo or mono, and it's, you can just use a regular mono jack if you want, but man, this is a nice guitar. And the guy I got this from spent 130 bucks on a really pro setup. He probably didn't have to do that, but he just wanted it to be really preened out. So they did the full, full setup because even new guitars don't come with the, you know, like the, you know, the frets completely perfect. So they had a, he did a fret dressing, had a setup. This thing just plays unbelievably. And, uh, you know, black tends to show scratches and stuff. You can't even see them unless you hold the guitar at the right angle. But, you know, if you hold it at the right angle, there's a little bit of smudges on the back. Probably could just be cleaned right off or worst case scenario. But it's not that bad. I just mentioned it because I believe in full disclosure. But this guitar is gorgeous. Looking at it like this, it looks mint. But I'm just letting you know, if you hold it at the right angle, you see some little subtle little smudgy things on the back. But, man, this is nice. Just play, hardly any. He barely played the thing. He had this for a while, and then he decided he wanted to get a telly. <laughs> Uh, the case is gorgeous, but I, I got to charge a little extra for the case because uh, I had to pay a little extra for the case. And this guitar was so outstanding, I decided, well, even if I don't make much on it, I can kind of play it for a while because I've never had one of these. And I just, I love the guitar. And I've done business with this guy before, so I tried to make it fair for him. Believe me, if you'd like a great guitar that sounds like something and plays and looks like something you can pay 1500 bucks for, this is a smoking guitar. And it covers everything. It, it will play jazz, like a high-end jazz box. And what's really cool, it has chambers inside the body, so you never have to worry about feedback. But you know, it also, and, and this bridge, this reminds me, this guitar reminds me a lot of an old Gibson ES347. I used to love those guitars. And this bridge, I think, adds to the tone, uh, gives it a certain buttery warmth, but this guitar has plenty of mids and highs, believe me. But this guitar absolutely just gets uh, such a sweet tone. So if you could use something like this, feel free to give me a call. 714-548-0385. I'll be doing uh, a demo of it in a little bit, probably today, so you can actually hear it. But I just want to at least have something on here, okay? And it's ready to go. All right, Steve, 714-548-0385. Thanks.